Hello, virtual fourth graders from around the district. Mr. Latest with you. I hope all of you had a wonderful weekend. Uh, to all the mothers out there, happy Mother's Day, of course. And I hope you helped out at home, which you should do every day too, not just for mom's special day, which was yesterday. Spring is still here, although you wouldn't think it's so. In some ways, it's been kind of chilly, uh, but at least the sun was shining. Now we're gonna leave fact sites. We're gonna be going to another database, a database that all the elementary schools have, as well as uh, intermediate school and middle school and high school. It is uh, World Book. World Book is an awesome database, one of my favorites. It's got so many cool features. It's at the bottom of my Maple page. It may be different, of course, at Lanning or Woodside, but at Maple Marcy, it's, I've got it at the bottom. So click on it. You're going to look for the kids version right here. And notice a beautiful picture right away. And what is that? It says, read about the Great Barrier Reef. And if you look down below, you'll notice that there's pictures and videos, world of animals, activities, maps and more, games, important people, compare places, science project, and dictionary. Pretty comprehensive. Uh, today, we're going to be focusing on this main article, when you first click on World Book Kids, and also pictures and videos. So right now it's a great barrier read. I think I might want to learn more about it. So you click on that link. There's a wonderful picture of the Great Barrier Reef because it does, it's the longest reef, in, coral reef in the world. And it's along the coast of Australia. Notice the article that comes with it. It's got a lot of information, but you can even find out more about the Great Barrier Reef. And by the way, before you do that, you can click on pictures, videos, and more. And more information. So there's a lot of cool links to just this article. But if I want to find a more comprehensive, more detailed article, I can get more information about this topic in World Book Student. And now you'll notice that the font, oh, well, let's click on this. It says read more. Here it is. Wow, the article is certainly longer, many more pictures. You can have it read along with you. Coral reef is a type of underwater As you're reading it. Shaped by limestone. So that's a nice feature too. Doesn't sound too robotic. So there are definitely uh, lots of information. There's a lot of information just on a coral reef, especially this one, the Great Barrier Reef alongside the coast of Australia. Now, what I like about this, I can go back and we go back to, we will notice the article has changed again. Now it's on giraffes. You can click these arrows either to the right or to the left and you can scroll through. That's the Eden Project. What's that? Well, you gotta click on it to find out, right? Look at those geodesic domes there. All right, Akana, Ankanakagua. I'm not even sure what that is. Uh, Easter Island, that's awesome. Lighthouses, rhinos, just read a book about rhinos, uh, Operation Rhino and those poor animals on the brink of extinction because of their horn. People think that horn has some medicinal properties. It's just made out of keratin, the same material that's in our hair and in our fingernails. And yet these, these magnificent creatures are being hunted uh, for those horns, which bring in lots of money. And for what? It doesn't really do anything, unfortunately. But people who believe so will pay a lot of money for this, they think is a cure to all their ills. But beautiful creatures, the rhino, just wonderful. Well, guys, uh, so that you can have fun checking out, uh, picking one of these articles of your choice. Then you're gonna go into pictures and videos and notice we have categories, arts, history, and government, living things, people, places, science and mathematics, sports and hobbies, or religion. So if you click on living things, for example, then it's di divided into animals, more on living things and plants. So you click on animals and notice you've got amphibians, birds, crustaceans, and so on. I'm gonna click on mollusk. I don't know a lot about mollusks. So when I do that, you can find out, oh wow, it's from snails, to octopus, to cuttlefish, to clams, 
sea slugs, pretty neat. So I want you guys to go into this pictures and pictures and videos and let me get back to where we were. All right, back right here, back again. You also have this clicking the back button, not the back arrow up here, but the back button on World Book itself. Oh, it looks like I'm going to have to go back just click on kids. Now we're back to where we started. Pictures and videos. <coughs> Excuse me. So enjoy going through these different topics and finding some pictures and cool videos to learn more about. There'll be a Google form as always where you can record your responses, things that you've learned. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thanks always for working on my lessons when you have the opportunity. Also, thanks for all the work you're doing for your virtual classroom teachers and the other specialists that you get to work on their lessons as well. Take care, guys. We'll see you next time.